hello hello guys uh it's bongi and here we have our lesson number three now our lesson number two the last uh i mean the previous lesson this is what we went through in case you missed this please go to my previous video then today we are here on a laptop power sequence it's almost the same thing but here it's more into into details remember i told you that we will, we will have your main our rail of which is what of which is 19 volts all right so there it is this thing holds in the main power rail coming from 230 volts or 220 volts depending on your era where you are okay and that 220 or 230 volts it goes straight into your charger and then your charger from that stage ac into dc and then it goes straight to your laptop as the 19 volts 20 volts or 19 is uh 20 volts it's something distracted me let's continue uh the same power rail main power rail uh, should go straight to step down number number one which is always a voltage the moment you connect the charger you will have the five volts always and 3.3 always always and the startup chip of which is sio chip is need to be turned on as well and then the power chip as well on pin number eight you should have what uh 3.3 on the startup chip you should have what the 3.3 volts and you will have some enables uh, signals there saying the startup chip is on it's a reset it is turned on and those are all the things that you should go through to check when you are fixing a motherboard but let's continue after all those conditions are met what will happen you will have the mosfets separating uh, the 5 volts always and the 5 volts suspend all right and again you have another mosfet separating ones uh 3.3 volts always and 3.3 suspend suspend voltage is the one that you get after pressing once after pressing the power button because we don't want the dvd writer to be turned on one way the moment you connect the charger no you want the dvd writer to be turned on only when you tell it to to turn on exactly they put a mosfet there in between to separate because mosfet they add a switch they turn on signal on and off signals that's all when your machine is off do you want to use ports to work no but some they want them to work because even some laptops they don't allow you to charge your phone even if the machine is off completely off but again it depends they put those mosfet there do you want your network card to be turned on when your machine is off no you want your SAT to be on when your machine is off no so how do you separate that how do you control the entire thing you put a mosfet you put a switch say hey you i want you to be on or i want you to be off and guys this thing is simple it's easy i'm not sure if you're getting this but it's so simple let's continue uh i'm sure you saw those mosfets let me repeat again those two mosfets the one is for five volts always and it's five volts suspend so it separates the two power rates and that one is for three volts always 3.3 volts always and 3.3 volts suspend separate the two power rates because we don't want the other one when the machine is off so we have to put what a switch a gap in between and control them when to turn the other one on and when to turn the other one off it's easy like that let's continue again we will have another step down number two as we mentioned in our previous lesson uh if you remember very well i did tell you that was on on, on uh, lesson number one that this voltage 1.05 volts is so important because it goes to so many things go to ICA, ICH, msh pch it goes to your uh cpu guys this 1.05 volts is so important you will have it no matter what you need it okay uh cpu in your ram you will need 1.8 volts of which is the dr2 and uh, you should need 0 0.9 volts guys these are all the signals you should check when you are fixing a motherboard in, and you need a cpu core cpu core is called vrm okay to confirm again if the cpu is turned on or not it's easy uh on the startup chip there is a, a pin there a written vrm enabled vrm enabled that signal there will tell you whether the cpu is turned on or or not it's called the vrm enabled 
And even that DRM enables any layer on the CPU controller chip as well. Depending on the chip you have, but if you have the VR, uh, the VRM enable, it will notify you if the CPU is turned on or not. That's why you know whether you have a dead CPU or not. Anyway, as you use those signals to check and to do some other things. And again, the last part of this main 19 volt is goes to where? LCD it goes to a screen red light that's where it will be turned to what into a higher voltage depending on your, your platinum anyway this is it guys um uh, done for this lesson i wanna see you on my next video anyway don't forget to share and like my videos and press the subscribe button anyway i love you so much bye bye